My name's Annalisa Anderson. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer for Bacterial Vaccines at Pfizer, where we are working to develop a vaccine to prevent Group B streptococcal infections in newborn babies. Group B streptococcus is, is a bacteria, and it's a bacteria that many of us carry on our body at all times. Um, so approximately 25% of people carry this organism, and we carry it without it ever causing any harm. However, in certain instances, it can cause severe invasive disease. When someone gets invasive group B streptococcus disease, it can have several forms. It can be sepsis, it can be meningitis, or it can be pneumonia, and the outcomes can be extremely severe. In newborn babies, it can lead to death, and in babies who survive, they do have the possibility of having long-term side effects, such as hearing loss and neurological damage. So maternal immunization is a very natural process. Normally, when a, a woman is pregnant, near the end of the pregnancy, antibodies that she carries naturally through natural exposure to different things will be passed through her placenta to the baby. This helps to protect the baby in the first few months of life before it has a chance to actually generate its own natural immunity. We're developing a vaccine which mimics this approach. In this way, we can ensure that pregnant women can be vaccinated prior to the period when the antibodies go from the mother to the baby and therefore the vaccine will induce antibodies that can then go to the baby and then protect that baby during its first few months of life from pathogens which it normally would not be protected against. In the developing world, we know that the disease rates for GBS in infants are much higher than they are, for example, in the US or in Europe. If we could develop a vaccine, pregnant women could go to the clinics and be vaccinated and then induce an antibody response that could protect their babies. We're working with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation so that we can develop a Group B streptococcal vaccine that can be used globally. Traditionally, when new vaccines become available, they're introduced into the developed world first. We hope to be able to provide a vaccine to the areas of greatest unmet medical need in a much more timely manner.